Alright, hey everyone, WanderBots here, and welcome back to Let This Path of Progress. So, if you, uh, I guess welcome back if you saw the impressions video, or welcome to if you've never seen that before. Anyway, uh, it's a Victorian era steampunk city building simulator type game. It was a lot of fun. A uh, bit of a caveat for today's episode. For once, I'm actually uh, co commentating again. So, Shell is joining me on this one. Hello. She's not going to say anything for the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so campaign one Fedheim. Uh, 1,500 workers and level 10 housing, 400 uni 4,000 units of meat as tribute to the Emperor. Food for the Emperor! Uh, let's see. Mr. Ellington, what a pleasure to meet you. How are you? I have excellent news. As you might have heard, Professor Elstrom's inventions are sensational. Condensed steam are a source of, as a source of energy. Yet this is also may lead to a rural exodus. Big cities are going to pop up, just as fey mushrooms. A focus on agriculture and steady food supply will become important issues. It's your task to tackle these problems. All eyes are on you. Succeed, and the Empire will reward you portly. <laughs> Archibald Ellington is one of the best urbanists in all of Le Lethis. Lethis. He risks his career, and with this task, he has to swiftly build a city with a strong focus on agriculture in the high provinces to prevent a local famine. Wilhelm IV, Emperor of Lethis, chose Fedheim for this task, a large fertile area, so that the Empire's capital city, Sterenhall. There are no geysers to be found in this area, yet you can provide for your workers with copper via trade. Okay, so what we need to do is level up our our uh, structures and get a lot of food. Spelling errors. It's a French game. Oh. It's okay. I yeah. If it were if it were like an American game, I think I'd be a little bit more grumpy about it. But since it's French, meh. I mean. It's, Probably nowhere even close to their first language. I'm not I'm fairly certain that uh, it was localized in English I'm impressed with the trees. Oh, yeah. How are you building houses without any roads? Eh, who needs roads? Okay, let's just I'm just plonking things down for a second I, Making I, a neighborhood of sorts. Yeah, effectively because you really do need kind of a neighborhood system Where are you gonna be able to plant the trees and the improvements? Uh, Elsewhere not betwixt them? No, or you, no, you need the roads for you that. kind of want to do district... Oh, shoot. Uh, can I do that this? That tree cannot be... Uh, Alright, well, whomever was planning on living there. Never mind. <laughs> Boop. Okay. Now, they should be coming. I'm trying to think. Is there... And Nope, yep, there they come. What the deuce? I've never seen them come from this angle. Okay. That's the door. Yep, there's the door. The mysterious door of wherever. And we're just floating off in space for whatever reason. Which, honestly, I do not mind. I think it's better than just kind of like the weird blackness that is usually the limits. From what little I saw, now you need to start building some structures like wells and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we need a couple of things to service our city here. And uh, if you saw my impressions video, it's go this is going to feel kind of similar just because I'm kind of going over the basics. Partly for Shell and partly for everybody else's benefit. I'm just going to plonk that there. Three three wells is more than enough. Probably should have had a slightly more efficient district, but whatever. We also need at least... Yeah, at least one of these. At least. What I, is it? Uh, it's a maintenance facility. Um, to keep the houses and everything yeah, running. Retrospect. I'm going to blow this one up. Costly, I know. But uh, this gives me room to expand to this direction if I want to put up a second neighborhood without expand... Uh, without costing myself too many resources. I don't know. It just feels better to do it that way. Districting and whatnot. Okay, so these guys are going. Uh, but they need more food. Oh, So you need boy. to start farms? I need to start farms. Uh, let's see. How far out can I... Wow. I can go pretty far with these. Eh, let's start here. It's got it's so much farmland. There's no reason why not to. Now this is exclusively wheat, right? Yeah, this is exclusively wheat. We need we need wheat to make uh, meat, and we need wheat to make bread. Those are pretty much the only two foodstuffs we have uh, access to. This uh, this mission, mm -hmm. they kind of artificially limit what you can do, just so you can't like become like this weird financial magnet really early on, for no good reason. Uh, so I'm just gonna put this row down. I'm probably gonna deactivate like half of these. So I'm gonna just start turning them off as I do. So they are saying that there aren't enough workers to. Yeah. So if you notice, it says fields. workers five out of nine. So I do not want these to be like 
I don't want, um, well, I would rather have some amount of surplus because we're going to need, we're going to need workers for a lot of other stuff. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to extend a road down here. We're going to get a second district type going on. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. okay. So first off, I'm going to start putting these down. These are what ruin my cities. If I don't what pay are attention. They? Blocks? See this person wandering around? They mm -hmm. can't go past these. If I let them do it otherwise, they like walk down to the end of this and then completely ignore all of these, which is specifically a problem with the maintenance workers. Because say if this maintenance worker starts just servicing this part, oh shoot. Then he would neglect the yeah, part that so he's for example, to. currently this one isn't servicing where it's supposed to be servicing. So if I plunk that there, they get trapped in here and they have to actually service the houses. Whereas otherwise, this maintenance area was going to start just focusing on this road and this road only, which mm -hmm. is not so great. Uh, and that screwed me over the last time I played. Okay, so now what do we need? We need storage. We need specifically this kind of storage. Will that store the grain? Yep, this stores grain, potatoes, grain, bread, barley, fish, pumpkins, and meat. Mm -hmm. And we actually need this as well. That stores other resources. For some odd reason, flour, uh, gold, well, jewelry, beer, copper, utensils, herbs. Actually, it stores a heck of a lot more. Mm -hmm. Is that bread? No, gold. Okay. I was wondering about that. <laughs> Loaves yeah. of gold. Loaves of gold. <laughs> when in doubt, eat it. Who cares, right? Okay. So we got that going on. Now we need we need it expand our infrastructure. There's nowhere we're going to just be eating straight out wheat here. They, they definitely need their other food groups. Yep, so we need a mill. And we need... Uh, we need bake, bakery. Now, the farmers will need a way to access the storage area, correct? Or uh, does production so automatically get transferred? It automatically gets transferred. It's actually quite convenient. But, if you notice, not enough workers, not enough workers. Working perfectly. Nobody works in this building. We do not have enough people to manage this. Unfortunately, this game is kind of a cruel mistress in terms of like a balancing act. So you can't build more houses? I can build more houses. Um, problem is I'm gonna have to keep expanding inf infrastructure to keep pleasing them effectively. And boy, are they grumpy. Okay, actually, you know what? Mm. Not the side of the road? Yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to think of how to how to service this properly. If I did this. This should work. I can just kind of expand it on. I'm just mostly afraid that the uh, surface workers are going to start going on an, on weird adventures that I do not want them to go down. Uh, well, I'm, now this yeah. one will be able to crawl over but into that's, the farming that's area. Not a, yeah, that's not a good idea. So I'm, I'm going to start blocking things off. Because uh, of all the buildings that don't need maintenance, farmers... But now you'll need a well up yeah. there. Yeah, Far, farmers do not need to... Uh, well, farms do not need maintenance. So let's put that there. And if you notice, there's like little green mm -hmm. spots. That means these areas are being serviced or not. So by putting this here, because this is a much smaller neighborhood, it really only needs one of each. Especially because these houses right here are actually currently maintained by uh, water, water ladies. So I might actually blow these up and move them over uh, when I get the chance. Just because... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Because these guys will go along this way anyway. So... Because it doesn't matter whether or not I'm servicing these houses. Okay, and I'm trying to keep everything fairly gridish. If I go off grid, it uh, gets confusing. <laughs> okay. So, now there's a fox in the woodlands. Along yeah, with some can't go hunting. Some... Can't go hunting. I cannot kill fuzzy woodland animals. I don't even know what the heck that thing was. Are these like bunnies? They're bunnies, but they're climbing trees. That's where I saw someone go up a tree earlier, and I was uh, like, I don't understand. Okay, let's quickly do this. Beautification. Yee. Makes the roads nicer. I don't know why making nice trees all over the place makes the roads nice, but Suddenly you know they have to put cobbles everywhere. Yep, pretty much. So by doing Wait, this, you don't like the willow trees? Uh, they're harder to see past. They're slightly taller. Hmm. Yeah, it's... And lampposts? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of other stuff I can do. Uh, but this should be good enough. Okay, so that should expand my population pretty hard. 
How much? How many do we? If you scroll over this, it actually says how many workers you need and how many extra you have. Okay, so you never want to get your employment unemployment above like a couple percent. That's uh, only at two, right? Yeah. Now. So currently, it's not bad. Currently, it's very functional. Uh, let's see. So what do they need more food. Access to a well. Okay, but as this lady goes by, all of these houses will pop up. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Oh shoot, the well, the well lady turned back around. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Do they have a distance? Yeah, they have a certain distance that they will walk. Okay. Before it, um, before they turn around. Okay, so let's see how the willow trees are much taller. Yeah. That's why I don't generally use them. Let's just throw up a. Oh, the little gardens are cute. Like these. Yeah, they actually have a much larger uh, sphere of influence. Like, the bigger the thing is, the more it'll affect. <laughs> Fountains. Yeah, so if I just plonk a fountain, like, down... Uh... Right there. And if you notice, the roads actually do get even better by more having complex. them there. Yeah. Mosaics, almost. Yeah, I don't know if you can get much better than mosaics, but... Eh, close enough. Gilded with gold. Duh. Uh, I don't think you can get to that point. That'd be cool. Now, it looks like you have the majority of the containers filled with meat and wheat and whatnot. Currently, it's about half. There's 3,500 out of 6,000. So Are you to vary your produce at all? Uh, yes, actually. We need to start doing that almost immediately. Uh, let's see. First and foremost. Why did you build those? I'm going to need them. You... I'm going to need them pretty dang soon. Uh... As, as, like, we expand further, we will need more. So I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna go farm barley. That's not next to a road. You're gonna have to build one. Yeah, I can do that. We need to start this soon. Because the Emperor is going to be really sneaky in about mm, 10 seconds. Maybe not. I don't know. Sneaky? What yeah, will he do? He gets dirty. Well, he'll just take things from you? There is something he wants, and he, there, this is not the uh, mission parameter, so if you've never done this before, this will actually just be kind of mean. Um, luckily, I've already played this mission, what, three times over? What's sort this? of. Let's see, do I need... Nobody works in this building. That's my unemployment. 37 workers needed. Dang it! Alright, fine. What What did you build there? That is a... I'm only going to be able to build a couple of houses. Ah, shoot. I just realized... No. <laughs> <laughs> um, that should be good enough. This is a silk manufacturer. Huh. It turns barley into silk. Now, I don't know how that conversion takes place. Yeah, but... uh, just wait until it actually gets manned. Unfortunately, we need, some, need these workers to roll in. If you planted mulberry trees, it would work. Mulberries yeah. foster well, silkworms. Well, just wait a little bit. You know, let's, let's increase the speed a little bit. Oh, you know what I just realized? We have we have enough food. We're not divvying it out right now. We should probably start divvying the food. A store, yeah. Uh -huh. You need to get it to the people. Gotta actually distribute this stuff. Okay, so that that is not even remotely close to divvy. Divvy all of the food. That should be enough divvying. There's like a little bit of bad coverage. But people will deal. I guess I could just, like, plonk another one right there. That's not ugly in the slightest. <laughs> Supermarket! Alright, and so as these as these uh, carts go down, all of the houses level up. I knew I was forgetting something. I was like, why aren't they not leveling up? Wait, now our shanty town is turned into huts. Yay! Uh, that means more people can roll in, and that means we have more people to run this thing! Whoa! They're giant! They're massive. I don't understand. So they just feed barley to the giant silkworms. Yes. And clean them. Yes. This guy's entire job is to scrub <laughs> silkworms. Rest of his life, look at these things. Mmm. <laughs> Glorious. Oh, they're adorable. Though, sort of. It's unfortunate that they have to be in restraints. I mean, otherwise they just break loose and kill everybody. I can hear the pig buffaloes yep, there munching. Yeah, so the neat thing about um, 
the buffaloes and, well, I guess the whatever you want to call them, is they convert a fair amount of, uh, they effectively double the wheat production straight into bread and food stuffs. So these places should actually level up fairly fast. Now are they using the the Let's dung see. and compost from those guys cool. to fertilize their fields? That'd be sustainable. That would be that would be sustainable. This game is not that complicated, unfortunately. <laughs> okay, we need another one of these. Might want another set of farms. Now and I heard bakers. you muttering things about ghosts earlier. Oh yeah, uh, we haven't had to worry about them yet. Why does a hundred years have to pass and people have had to have died in their homes in order for ghosts to come about? Well, ghosts just show up after a certain point. I'm just gonna blow up this house. <gasps> but the people, where eh. did they go? Eh. Nobody lived there anyway. So I'm going to throw up an exorcist right there and there. For the most part, we won't have to worry about it. I like it also how you can't <laughs> actually have the... They didn't model the backsides of these places, so this guy just has his tent facing the forest. Yeah, in the games that I played, you actually had to make sure that things were oriented correctly for people to access them. Yeah. Okay, so what like, do you I, need? I think I played something... It was about Egypt... And you had to accomplish certain quest goals as you went along. Yeah. And usually they were related to pleasing certain gods, like Bastet and Ra and whatnot. Yeah. Hey, which one of these requires less people? Okay. So we need another bakery. Because we do not have enough food. Luckily we have just enough people to run the bakeries. Bakeries actually require way less people. And there comes the barley. That means these guys can go back to work. Okay. But yeah, once once we have enough food, unemployment is 4%. That's good. That's exactly what we need. Mm -hmm. uh, how much silk do we have, by the way? I need, like, a lot of it. Okay, yeah, we have more than enough. Look at all that wheat come in. Now, I think once these guys are kind of freed up... Uh, please let me have enough. Hope so. Might actually want to build more of these. You know what, if our un unemployment is high... Oh, yeah. Our un unemployment gets really high. I guess it gets really high, especially during the winter. Well, this is the summer, by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, it gets really high during those seasons because... Um, because what are the other structures that you haven't built farming. yet? Okay. So we've got... Ah. This is a town hall. Good plan. Okay. Citizens are more content. Good. So first off, yeah, we should probably actually build one of these. It's mm -hmm. kind of expensive. But it pays for itself. Sort of. Once again, it's pointed the wrong direction. No real choice <laughs> in the matter. Tax collector. Tax collector. Yes. They don't really have that much of a sphere of influence, huh? Nope, they don't. And unfortunately, I'm running into space issues, so I'm just going to... You should have built a road off. And I still can. Yeah, you can build one right there. Might still blow up, though. A little bit concerned about that one. Oh well. I'll just scoot it over a little bit. Okay, so if you notice, we've only got 10,000 uh, dollar ruse, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, left. So we need to start pulling in taxes. We actually need to start doing a couple of things here. Uh, let's see. So we can pay some tribute. How much meat do I have? Not a whole lot. I've been turning it straight into feeding my people. Got a lot of flour, though. you need though. other resources. Not enough, not enough workers. How many more workers do I need? 78 more. Yeah, because people are in the f fields again. Okay. Well, in that case, let's Can people access see. those lower fields? Yeah, they can. Yeah, but we we don't have enough work workers, so it's a bad idea to do They need to build a new so. neighborhood. Yep, pretty much. Let's actually build one somewhere where I actually have some space. Well, you should keep everything close together. I try to. It's not well, always then the build easiest. around the town hall. Um... It's not, so not enough space. It's it's best if I work on these like double tier sections. Well, then continue off around the forest. You just won't like this square. Oh, so just kind of like this awkward thing going off this direction. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not a terrible idea. Here we go. Capital's in need of silk. Yep. So I actually almost have enough. How much silk do I have? Um, Which one's the icon? There we result? go. I'm 100 off. We should be fine, uh, assuming that we get enough people. Let's get some more people. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to go with like several small neighborhoods along the way here. 
They don't need to be particularly large to be serviced. Let's see, so that's trees, this is houses, this is more, uh, yes. And Hasselport has shut down. Oh, oh yeah, good. I actually did this right. <laughs> I'm always afraid that I'm, I'm, uh, Where are you gonna build the wells and such? Yeah, just like right here. Why not? Oh, okay. I've got a lot of farmland over here, so I'm not really hurting on that end. I think I might actually be, like, fairly fine as far as things go. Are you gonna build a row of trees between those... this division? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so they should be fairly maintained. Actually, let's get a shop going as well. Better not forget about that this time around. Okay, so what are these people complaining about? They need a wash house. Hmm. Is there, uh, like, space see. over here? There's space here and there. This is not the best laid out of places. Wait, is that... No, it needs two squares across? You're just gonna need a road to it, right? Pretty much. I'm a little bit worried that, uh... One or, oh, shoot. Yeah, so if you noticed, uh, certain that... areas weren't properly maintained. So you know how I just made that little road off to the tax house? Mm-hmm. Didn't actually work. The maintenance workers never went this direction. Okay, so in that case, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna put a block here. And we're going to... Oh, this isn't going to work. Where else can you build a tax building? Um... You're taking out the town hall? Pretty much. Here's why. Town hall, where are you? can just totally be at the end of this road. Nobody cares. It doesn't need to be near anybody. It doesn't send anybody down. The maintenance shed should have no problem servicing it. Okay, actually, might as well turn this on. Let's see. So these are a little... Okay, if you notice, this is very poorly serviced, mm -hmm. which is concerning. So let's just blow it up. It's going to destroy itself pretty fast anyway. Put it back where the... Uh... Pay the silk. Do we actually get anything for that? I have no idea. No. What about the people on that side of the town? They'll need a bathhouse. These people over here? I mean, first and foremost, they can deal These with ones. it. These Yeah, I suppose. Uh, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately... Emperor sends his greetings. Well done! Mmm. Okay. That actually gives us some options. I'm gonna blow up this road here very temporarily. We're gonna move it over. I can okay. just put the bathhouse in here. That works. Actually surfaces way too much. Let's blow up the park. <laughs> blow up everything. It'll make everyone unhappy. Right, let's put a block here before everything goes wrong. Because it totally will. You know it to be true. Okay, so let's hide this. Let's take a look at... Uh, do we have a service? service? Um, where's the wash person? That's spa. They haven't upgraded. Shouldn't wash we make house. the... There you go. Okay, so the wash house section is pretty the good. The neighborhood, the new one, it's all red. It's all red because they need lots of things, like food. Let's take a look at uh, food. Food. Who want to use food? Oh wait, no, there's the food cart. So they're they're getting upgraded now. Now they need a wash house. Well, I think you also need to beautify their streets a little. Yes. Okay, so we got that going. We got this going. So far, so good, actually. Which I'm kind of happy about. Yeah! Look at it go. Industry! <laughs> Might as well beautify everything that I can. And let's throw down a park. I like the pink ones. Okay. <sighs> How, how's unemployment looking? Damn it! Oh, Capital hey. needs more silk. Have it! I apparently I'm just sitting around on a bunch of silk. Okay. Those two worms are really uh, working. They're pumping it out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's that? This is a trade depot. If you notice, we're running low on money. So I don't have, you any, don't trade have any trade roads. Yeah, let's well, go. Where... Okay, let's see. So what what can we export? What resources do we have in excess right now? Wheat, barley. Okay. Oh, hello. That means we need we need to make one of these. 
This? This is, this is it. And if we have an excess in wheat... Oh, so that's... The abbots are the ones making the ale? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just wait till we get to distillery. Okay. So, how's... Unemployment? 20%. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in that case... Work them in the fields. Yeah. How's unemployment looking now? 16%. Okay, it's probably a good time to expand my barley production next. This is, bar this is barley, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, barley farm. Okay. Because we need barley for booze. And they are not the fairy-derived no. alcohol? Nope, that's that's a different section. <laughs> okay, let's turn on some more of this. Now that we've spent another more money, what will we have excess? We should end up having excess in meat and bread. At least I hope we do. So who, who buys bread? Actually, you buy both. Okay. Oh, you buy wheat. So forward just flat out buys wheat. That's good. Richterberg, forward. Selling. They sell silk. Could have bought a ton if I wanted to. They buy booze. They buy I was really hoping somebody would want silk, but no such luck. Okay, so let's go back. Let's take a look. You know what? Uh, export. Let's open up a trade route to... Not this one. So the thing is with forward... Because you have wheat and yeah, meat. But they will they will buy they will buy wheat, but I can convert wheat into bread at pretty much two times. So there's next to no reason why I would want to do that. Whereas Hasselport will buy both of the things that we need. So we can start exporting. Let's just export about four hundred of each. Hmm. Uh, with the expanded production we should have plenty of meat fairly soon. Mm. Hopefully these guys start pumping out booze. Well, they're we might need another. There. We might. We definitely need another storehouse. Yeah, you need more storage. Okay, I can do that. Because now that now that our population problems have been solved, we don't you have to worry to about it that much. There. Yeah. Now let's get another maintenance shed. Because that road's starting to extend. Yeah, it's starting to get a little long. I'm not. I mean, it looks like coverage ain't bad, but it's kind of one of those where I would like to play it safe. Okay, there we go. So now we're starting to get some spare boo. Let's check your neighborhoods. Ghosts all over the place. Ah! You forgot to put an exorcist over there. It's okay. <laughs> Luckily, they don't really do that much to us. I kind of like plonk an exorcist down here. I can. Okay. So we'll stick Is him in the woods. Is there a road there? Yeah, sort of. This is enough of a road that he he can do his job. Okay. Oh, he's, is he starting well, to dispel I guess them? He is a she, but yes. She goes around, dispelling ghosts. Oh, well, the guy that's actually at the exorcist place is male. But yeah, I did let's see that. See, let's see how. Lady. I want to see what her pathing is, though. Because she might not service the whole block. Okay, here she goes. No. Is she going to go past the right side of the shop. She really doesn't. Okay, wait. What if I do this? Blow this up. Put a block here. Yeah, we need... Uh, my placement on the exorcist. It's better to put exorcists and stuff like that on loops. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. What if I just put a second one? Nope. It's mm -hmm. still gonna be garbage. Oh. No. Mm. For some reason, I don't know if he'll go around to... I, uh, public domain! Or not public domain, eminent domain. Treasury's almost... I'm almost out of money. You need to start selling stuff. Alternatively, I can just... Let me see. Money. Oh, wait. That was last year. Okay, tax, income, salary was expensive. Let's boost up taxes for the time being. Oh, well, that would do it. Hmm? We're not covering nearly enough ta taxes. Well, that's because you took out the taxation on that whole half of the neighborhood. Okay, let me see. Where's where's tax? Industry, which one of you is taxation? Oh, that's maintenance. 
That's just here we go. Tax houses. Oh yeah, you see. Are I told you. We are not taxing nearly enough people. I told you. Oh, I remember boy. you blew up the the house that had been on this corner. Yeah. No. And it, then you never it, replaced it. It blew itself up. I had no hand in that. You can't build in the forest though. Yeah, I can't build in the forest. So, well, you have that block there. That's why no one can get Is covered. Is somebody's house? That's somebody's house. Screw that. Doesn't even need to be there. Okay, let's get then that Then you'll done. need to tax that part of the neighborhood. What did the emperor demand? Oh, no, I can import gold from Hall, Which is not necessary or useful. This part needs a tax collector. Yeah, let's do that. I'm about to run out of money. I'm not really sure what happens when I get that far. Okay, well, let's see if I can make some cash here. We've got trade going. Hopefully, it works. I do have some spare booze. But generally, selling that is a pain in the butt. What do you guys need, anyway? Access to a theater. theater. Yeah, we'll do that later. We did not have the money for it. Let's see. Let's see if we can balance out our fi finances before we do anything else. Let's see if I can buff that up a little bit. Hopefully, the people won't starve. We're getting a lot more meat, which is good. Oh. Um, I might. Once we get back above a thousand, hmm? I think we will. Actually, how much is this? Oh, Abby, a second Abbey is only 250. Well, I thought we needed a theater. Yeah, we need a theater, but here's the thing. We can sell booze. Yeah, okay. We can sell booze for quite a lot of money. I really did not lay out the You, lay you this didn't out well. put things side by side. That's your issue. I'll get there. Well, I, I spread them out <clears throat> as a bad habit. Treasury is almost empty. That's fine. <clears throat> we seem to have balanced out just a little bit. Yeah, I forgot about taxation. Ah, oh, but I think we're okay. I have no idea what uh, having high versus low taxes does to us, but we've got a lot of barley here. We need to start turning that into something useful. Is the music all doom and gloom right now because of the winter? Yeah. Yeah, it alternates. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. They buy beer for a lot of money. 